Hi, it's Pierre again. Um, so it's been, oh, I don't know, I've had this tablet, the Samsung AT500T tablet now for um, four months, five months. Uh, and uh, since I purchased it, now obviously the newer uh, Clover Trail tablets have come out with a much, much more powerful uh, processor. This Samsung runs on a, on a um, uh, it's not Clover Trail, it is the other, Bay Trail, I think, uh, which is basically a netbook processor. And it surprisingly runs things very, very well. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, but of course, now the new things are out and, you know, there's always that sort of uh, feeling of um, wanting to get the best, fastest, neatest, newest thing. Um, but having said that, I think it's still worthwhile sort of readdressing some of the things, some of the criticisms, some of the problems I have with this tablet some time ago um, because I've been actually getting a lot of use out of it and uh, despite the fact that it's a lower powered um, processor it's actually holds up very well and especially now that Wacom has released a newer set of drivers uh, it's suddenly Photoshop works much much better uh, Clip Studio, which happens to be the same thing as Manga Studio uh, by Smith Micro. Um, both of those programs work really well. Uh, having said that, I've, up I've also updated the tablet to Windows 8.1 and uh, there's some issues with uh, Windows 8.1, not huge ones. I think enough, the issues having to do with um, a program like uh, Fresh Paint, which comes with all the tablets that come out now, uh, Windows tablets that come out now, it doesn't work. <laughs> Fresh Paint doesn't work on my tablet. Uh, and I think it has a lot to do with the, the graphic chip. Um, uh, the other thing I've noticed is that, and this has always been the case with uh, Manga Studio or Clip Studio, uh, is that the 3D functionality doesn't work at all. Uh, you can try and bring in a, a figure and it doesn't work. Um, it, you know, it kind of loads it in but you can't do anything with it and it's kind of weirdly pixelized and it doesn't, doesn't react, doesn't do anything. So having said that, I'm going to show you a quick little update on the Ativ because you can probably pick these up now fairly inexpensively on eBay, $300, $350 for a nice big tablet, an 11 inch screen uh, with Wacom, a Wacom enabled digitizer screen. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, and you know, yes, I would love to get a, a newer, faster tablet. I would love to get a, a Microsoft Surface Pro 2, uh, but I find it very hard to justify spending $1,000 essentially for the 128K version, which I think is the one I would like to get. 128K, good God. 128 gig version. Um, you know, I could get a 64 gig version like this Samsung Ativ, which also has a 64 gig uh, little micro SD card in it, uh, which expands it to 128. But nonetheless, it's, uh, you know, it would be nice. Um, but I'm not certain if it's absolutely necessary. It would be very nice. Trust me, I would love to have a faster computer to do everything with uh, because I have a, a, a small computer to sort of do my video editing and it's not really powerful enough to be e editing HD video uh, so on and so forth so um, let me show you what I've got and, and how this all works out now okay so again this is the AT, Samsung AT500T uh, it is got two gigs of memory it's got 64 gig internal SD drive uh, which, you know, once you've loaded in stuff, I've got about 20 gigs free and that's with uh, a lot of graphics programs loaded. Um, but then I've also added a 64 gig uh, micro SD card for storage and I've got lots of things in that also. Um, but nonetheless, so what I've done is I've loaded up uh, Photoshop. Again, same version of Photoshop, which in my case is uh, CS2. And uh, I currently have a eight and a half by 11 document open at 300 dpi and uh, surprisingly uh, it works much better than what I had shown previously which was pretty stuttery uh, this isn't this isn't perfectly smooth nonetheless but you know what it's it keeps up which is actually quite nice and of course with the larger the brush you go with um, potentially you know you're gonna run up with more problems but 
this stays fairly, um, yeah, this actually works quite nicely. Uh, and, you know, it works pretty well. Oh, what did I do? Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a glitch in CS2. It's not a glitch with my computer. CS2 has got this funny thing with layers, and when you add a layer, say sometimes just go away. The whole document sort of disappears. I can't understand why. Um, and it's, it's made me starting to think that maybe I want to kind of uh, start um, subscribing to f Photoshop's or to Adobe's uh, uh, new um, service where you can essentially have all the latest versions of all Adobe software for $50 a month, which is not bad. Now you just saw that this is a much more complicated brush. It's 100 pixels, uh, it's textured, and uh, it's definitely stuttered at 300 dpi. That's not so bad. This is actually kind of a translucent and it keeps up. So certain things work, some things don't. And uh, but the but now with the new Wacom drivers installed, it's much 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 faster. It's actually usable uh, than um, what was there previously. Um, having said that, I'm going to open up Clip Studio, which is in the U.S. It's Manga Studio. It looks exactly the same thing. Um, I have actually no idea what the resolution of this document is. So you know, what? I'm going to open up a new one. It's uh, Let's see, let's do, uh, I don't know, A4, whatever that is. It's, this is 8.27 8 by 11.69. And uh, I'm just going to add 300 DPI and I'm going to hit OK. So that's got to be it. And uh, this also, if you're doing basic pencil work, if you're doing basic uh, inking work, it's a uh, keeps up very, very nicely. So it's uh, surprisingly useful. Um, that lags a bit. You know, again, as the brushes start becoming a bit more um, complex, it slows down. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and I'm certain that if you get a, a, you know, a faster uh, tablet, it would have this problem. Um, having said that, it still works. And again, it's a very high resolution, you know, it's a is essentially an eight and a half by eleven thing. It's also Photoshop's running in the background, and I'm certain that's zapping some of the uh, the RAM away from Clips Studio. Uh, but it works incredibly well. So again, I'm very very happy with it. Uh, oh, you know what? And I wanted to show you just real fast. Go back here. That a glitch that this tablet has, and it has to do it has to do with the graphic chipset. Um, is if you try and load in any of the 3D content, it just doesn't work. And in fact, it's been so long since I've tried it, I don't even quite remember how it works. Just trust me on it. It doesn't really work. <clears throat> and I think it has to do with the 3D software or 3D graphics chip. So, um, oh, let's try this. No, that's not going to do it. One more time. No. Anyways, um, trust me, it doesn't work. So if, if you rely on, you know, having a poser figure to draw on top of in Clip Studio, this tablet's not for you. Uh, finally, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to load up um, Fresh Paint. Now Fresh Paint comes with all tablets now. Uh, it's definitely kind of all on all the tablets that come with uh, Windows 8.1, which this tablet is now running. And if I just click New, now the newest version of Fresh Paint has a very nice kind of watercolor of, uh, brush. Uh, it has sort of your oil brush. It's got pencils. It's got crayons. There's no layers. It's just purely one layer. But it actually, you know, works quite nicely. Uh, at least it used to. Now um, you're starting to notice some little gaps here. That's not so bad. But if, and it's actually, again, it, it sort of slows down a bit. If I go to something a little more complex, like let's say a, uh, an oil brush, and I start painting, um, you start noticing that there's going to be some gaps. There they are, these little breaks in the line. When the line kind of crosses over itself, so if I would draw a circle, it's not so bad, but as soon as that circle crosses back over itself, something happens. 
across, I paint over anything else and it breaks up, it all breaks up these horizontal lines. I think Microsoft is aware of this, I've looked into it, uh, and they haven't issued a patch yet, but it's definitely, fresh paint does not work terribly well. And finally, I'm going to load up ArtRage Studio. Now again, I still have Clip Studio and I have Photoshop running in the background, so RAM is probably an issue at this point. Uh, but ArtRage has always run very well, uh, um, again, unless you start using um, uh, like a watercolor type brush. So this is a you know, kind of like oil brush. Now, see, it's running really slow because I've got other programs open. There we go. That's running quite nice now. And, you know, you start loading in another color, and the colors mix beautifully. And it's really very impressive. Um, but, you know, if you go to a watercolor brush and you start painting, that works quite nicely. But as soon as you start mixing two, it's going to, it's, uh, it slows down dramatically. And um, it's still faster than it was in the previous Wacom drivers, but it's, uh, it's still quite slow. But, you know, you've got your basic uh, pencil things, and those work beautifully. So essentially, you know, everything's improved very really nicely with the latest Wacom drivers with Windows 8.1, whether that had any any bearing on the speed updates, I can't say. But very happy. Um, still would love to get a faster tablet. Uh, and at some point, I may try and sell this on eBay. Uh, but, uh, you know, for a drawing tablet, it works great. Actually, and just one more thing. Now, interestingly enough, uh, what I've noticed is that uh, especially under Windows 8.1, like various things, like where I'm checking the internet or going to YouTube or various just things that you know that you expect would work fine. <laughs> At this tablet with two gigs of RAM, don't work so well. Uh, the apps crash quite a bit. But applications like Photoshop, um, uh, ArtRage Studio, so even some of the animation programs or 3D programs that I use. Uh, don't crash. They are rock steady. They work perfectly well. So it's a strange thing that you know applications and apps, I should say, uh, don't necessarily work terribly well, especially uh, web apps and um, you know applications that's sitting locally on your system uh, tend to work very very nicely. So that's pretty much it. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know that it's uh, this is still a very very viable platform for a digital artist, especially now that the prices have not the prices haven't come down. But um, you can find these on eBay uh, very often. A website like Woot uh, will have them. Although you've got to be careful because sometimes, because this tablet was sold in a number of different formats, uh, some carriers uh, who carried this tablet didn't allow or didn't include the Wacom enabled screen digitizer. Uh, and I believe when it was sold in Canada, likewise, it didn't have the Wacom digitizer. Uh, so when you, if you are interested and if you want to buy this and you're looking for it at various places, you just be absolutely positively certain that the unit you're buying, if you want a Wacom-enabled digitizer, to uh, that it, it actually comes installed, that it's actually part of the hardware. Because uh, if it doesn't say it, then chances are it's not there. Okay, so just be very careful. But it works really well. And, and Windows point, uh, 8.1 works you know, surprisingly well, except for some of the crashing issues, like I said. And um, that's it. So thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.